Hello dear nerd and geek friends, my name is Hendrik and today I am unboxing this tiny parcel from Tabletop World and in it I will find the complete graveyard kit from Tabletop World which I backed on Kickstarter. I backed with the priest level and took all the big buildings as add-ons. And actually I was planning to do this video a little bit earlier, but then the parcel arrived while I was on a work trip in Northern Norway. But still I hope that this video comes in a timely manner and that you enjoy this first look and unboxing at the amazing looking Tabletop World Graveyard Kit. Let's go! I'm using my trusty scalpel and I do hope that it's packing away and nothing will drop down like this. But I will be careful to not destroy my resin goodness that came all the way from Croatia. As always, very well packed the gear from Tabletop World. So let's just get this done. And inside this first big parcel we find two more parcels, so let's have a look what we find in these. Alright, let's take a good look after we have sorted through all the paper that comes with it. Here we right away have lots of columns for the fences. I also bought some extra ones because I intend to make a big looking graveyard. And here we have the graveyard gate. And this looks like the little graveyard keeper hut. And here, I imagine this is the smaller chapel. And parcel number two. Okay, here we get tree number one. And some branches. Here are two more trees. Okay, this is uh, pretty new for Tabletop World that they actually have these kind of little boxes with instructions of how you should open it so that you don't destroy anything. That's a very nice touch. I guess they have realized that some of the pieces need uh, more delicate handling and because they don't want to send you replacement parts because of shipping, it's nice that they take attention like this. And yeah, that was the church just and this was the final stretch goal, the King's Mausoleum or King's Crypt. And then over here we have the Mausoleum, the Tomb and the Corpse Cart. And again some instructions on how to carefully open them so that nothing goes broken. And here we got actually still two more the ruined walls and the curved walls. So I, I bought some extra curved walls. And here we have the walls and fences. So pretty cool that they packed these things uh, very carefully. Let's see and take a look inside of these and how they look like. All right, let's take a look at these boxes over here because that's quite a new addition 
to the tabletop world delivery. Usually you get everything in the way you just saw, so. So these are glued to the bottom of the box. That's quite cool and that way you don't destroy these delicate pieces here on the top and they cannot get bent or broken. Um, I don't think that I will now take these just yet out, but there's uh, detailed instructions of these over here. So I do think that you should be able to take them carefully out without breaking them. Let's take a look at the small gate and the ruined walls over here again. The same thing here again. They do recommend that you actually cut the box open and then you can just carefully take them out. Um, it looks like they are like hot glued on there or something like that. So they really want you to make sure that these delicate pieces do not get destroyed during transport. And then here we still have the curved walls and the same thing. Again, you should just cut open the thing and then you should be able to delicately take out the parts from the bottom. They're glued very securely into place, so everything actually should arrive uh, not broken when you receive it. Over here we got one bag of the tombstones and I imagine that in one of these is also still the other. That is one thing you always need to do with gear from Tabletop World. You need to actually look inside of the buildings to find the extra pieces that apparently might be missing if you think it should come directly. So here we got the little shrine and here we got the inside pieces of the tombstone. So the top hat, as you just saw, super cool actually, that these just slide out like that. That will be really nice for painting. Um, of course, when you undercoat these with an airbrush, you need to be careful that you don't put on these parts where you slide it in uh, a thick undercoat or any undercoat at all. So it might just be best to undercoat them, um, base coat them while they're in place. That way you keep this free and you can just move them in and out. But this is also something that I haven't seen before. So again, a step ahead in manufacturing for Tabletop World that you have these sliding pieces that you have moving doors. Um, we already had earlier a couple uh, years ago or something like that when the first Altstadt pieces came out or Altdorf pieces. Then uh, you already had uh, doors that you could move and now you also can just take the complete uh, fences or doors out. That's a very nice addition and this does look really, really, really nice. I'm really happy how amazing this looks. It looks really even better in real life than what we saw on the website. And the amazing paint job, of course, we'll need to do ourselves. Okay, let's look what's inside of the church. with more stuff. So over here we got our little um, monk. I don't remember his name. And here we got the top 
off the church tower. That is going to be a great looking piece. The gates for the uh, big gate and a bit more tombstones. And our little donkey. And here we got another small gate. I bought one extra. But this church is really a super beautiful piece of terrain. I'm really excited about how they came out with this. It's an excellent piece in my opinion. And here we got the small chapel. Here we got the, the door, the bell, the top of the little tower and a lectern with some candles. And so this is a very, very nice piece. Probably would be looking just as good next to a roadside. So next to the church, it is uh, not that much smaller. I think the church is around double the size and a bit higher. The caretaker set over here. So this is the caretaker set. Here we got the, I think this is a window that we slot in over there. And here we got some wooden benches and one coffin and some tools. This is also a very scenic piece. And now let's look at this one. So this is the tomb, this is the one piece that is completely loose and it actually seems that here some pieces went broken during transport but that's nothing that a little bit of glue can't fix. Just need to be very careful in getting all these very small pieces back out. Um, that's a little bit of a shame, but sometimes they don't treat your tabletop world gear that delicately during transport. So sometimes these things happen, but as I just said, um, nothing, a little bit of glue can't fix. And I do think that they really tried their best over here with finding a way to transport all this sensitive gear that it doesn't break.
that was my first look at the Tabletop World Kickstarter Graveyard set. As I said at the intro, I pledged at the priest level and then I bought the church and the king's mausoleum and all the other available extras on top because I really like these very big pieces from them and I need to say that I think that the church is probably my favorite piece out of this whole set. I have some great ideas for next year's painting competition with it and yeah I'm really much looking forward to painting this. If you enjoyed this video make sure to leave me a thumbs up and a subscription so you can see how I'm painting these up. If you've got questions leave them in the comments and if you want to get your own graveyard set then check out the links in the video description. In that sense thanks for watching and see you in the next video.